the fans have got lots to say on the streets. What do the two coaches have to say? They join me right here in the studio as we build up to the Soweto Derby on Saturday live on SABC Sports. So make sure you join us from 3 o'clock for that one. But let me start with the new man in charge. Coach, welcome to Sport at 10. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm good. How's the first couple of weeks in South Africa? Uh, a lot of rain, uh, but now, uh, but have been a lot of work, of course. Mm. Uh, you met new players, you have to try to learn their names, and I've been a uh, lot of meetings and things like this. So I've been, uh, I sleep pretty early. Now, the question that everyone wants to ask is it's Soweto Derby this weekend. I had never lost the Soweto Derby. Never, ever. <laughs> yeah. You've got a 100% record in a Soweto Derby as you yeah. sit here right yeah. now. Yeah. Are you going to keep that record? Absolutely. Absolutely. What we're going to, we're going to try at least. Ah, coach, he's undefeated in a Soweto Derby. I think I must call Shamponizer. <laughs> Shamponizer must come and define experience and experiment. Mm. Because if the coach has not experienced the derby, the experiment is waiting for him. <laughs> <Saturday>. <laughs> what is it? Because now you have an opportunity to do a little coaching that he needs to really prepare himself for when Saturday comes around. I, I don't think I'm, I'm qualified to offer any advice. But surely, with his experience, he would know how to go into any other big match. The only thing that I would tell him is that this one is different. Because beyond tactics, technique, physical conditioning, mentality, is a passion of our people. Mm. This is the one that determines the happiness index of our nation. Whoever loses goes to minus. The one who wins, Monday, it's, 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 it's just celebrations. But he will experience it. It's a wonderful environment. Same football match. Yeah. The only difference is that the culture and tradition of our sports people is different in South Africa. But Coach uh, Jonafre, you have experienced a little bit of the Soweto Derby. You've been able to see it. Yeah, yeah, I've watched that a few times on TV, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In Sweden? Yeah, the, the, the Nil Nil Derby from... Uh, uh, was it September, October or something? Mm -hmm. They uh, they broadcast it in Sweden also. You were watching a, it, sitting in Sweden? It, yeah, they have a program where they watched, had, I think it was for six weeks, big games in totally different uh, places in the mm -hmm. world that normally nobody looks. It was a, was a, little, a little lucky there, to, the, the, so they broadcast the derby. Did you know then you were going to be the Orlando Pirates coach when you were watching it in October? No, no. But uh, I know that they talked a little bit about uh, doing things. I have friends down here. Uh -huh. uh, but but uh, no, no, no. Just uh, pure luck watching the game. A couple of months yeah, later, but, uh, you, you know, are... If you're a football nerd, you watch games on TV. Uh -huh. so, and it's fun to watch teams and watch football that you not normally watch. So, so that was... Uh, but I was home that Saturday. I think it was a Saturday. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the TV was on, and uh, it was fun to see. Coach, let's talk a little bit about how Chiefs is running right now. Before the Ajax game, five wins in a row. Massive accolade for yourself. You're equaling a run that Stuart Baxter had previously. That was top football that was being played. Is there a speed bump, the Ajax game, coming into the derby? One thing that I've experienced, and what they always tell you at Chiefs, is that derbies, whatever, whoever is on form, it counts for nothing. All such stats goes out of the window. But you are cheers. Uh. Uh, see how she said. Sometimes when you're too hot, you think you're too hot to handle, and you, you, you start to slow down, and that's when you get hurt. So we need to acknowledge that we've been doing well, but push that aside as athletes. Our team and everybody else around must celebrate that. But for us as athletes and professionals, we focus on the next one. The big one is on Saturday. You're the clear favorites. You You're in the top the four, world, four the on the world, log table, top the five world, on the log table. The universe favors underdogs. If you are a favorite, you're going to be hurt. I would prefer to be an underdog. Five wins and a draw in the last six games. Orlando Pirates, on the other hand, ten games without a win. It looks like a mismatch on paper. Yeah, I have never lost with Pirates. 
<laughs> Which is true. Yeah. One one draw but, against but, Platinum but, but Stars. I mean, we have. Uh, where I'm from, I'm from Stockholm in Sweden. We have three big teams in Stockholm. Uh, it's tough derby. It's not 90, 95,000 maybe, but like 50. Mm. And it's pretty. It's exactly the same. All derby it doesn't matter if you're up there or down there. Th that game lives its own life, mm. uh, and it's more of a lot. I think if you you have to be strong up here and be ready for it. And I have tried to talk to with my players about, yes, I mean, there's millions of millions of football players who want to be on the pitch on Sundays and mm. uh, on Saturday. Mm. Uh, but you guys, you have the possibility to play here too on Saturday. So, I mean, just go out and play football and have some fun. It's a fantastic thing to, to do. Coach Compella, do you know your 11 that is going to be starting on Saturday? Uh, what's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. We Ash play, Wednesday. We're playing Saturday. We start counting from Saturday. Let me see how many sessions do we have? Two more to run. Still a lot to happen. But uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an ideal world, you have this team. But in a real world, you still have two days to go through. What's up again? Yeah, dot. The, the, a man who never changes his mind is the one who doesn't have any mind to change. Uh. So you have to sleep, wake up. Maybe you say, I, Maru told me I don't think he looks okay. Let me try something else. So I still have to have two nights. <laughs> sleep well, dream well, change my mind, and come up with a solution. Coach Shell, is that the same situation for you? Or are you in position already? You could throw on your 11 right now. You know, uh, I don't uh, know the name of 11 yet. Yeah, you are. But you know, I, I always, I have always have a Monday morning team. Uh, after the weekend when you have played, there's always a few changes. But then, when you see them, then you have a Tuesday morning team and a Wednesday morning team, and it's still there. But of course, eight, nine players you're pretty sure of. But but the last two could be things could happen. As we talked, could be an injury, and mm. you can't be too focused on the eleven player because then it could be a shock for you at the. Saturday morning. You surprised a lot of people when you pulled out uh, Opa Manisa, uh, captain of the club, not a uh, regular in terms of being substituted. Uh, um, it seemed like the new coach is bringing something new. Why? Uh, I don't know, but, but I thought it was, had worked fantastic for 70 minutes. And, uh, he was really, I thought, so people had talked about that he had been a little down, but I think he was uh, absolutely okay in mm -hmm. that game. And if he can work that hard for 70 minutes for me, and I can bring him out uh, with cramp, uh, mm. I'm very happy. Mm. So uh, next time it could be another player, but but uh, for me it doesn't matter if you are captain or just work hard. And then when you're tired, we change you out. Speaking of working hard, it's got to be an area that you've never stopped working hard on, Steve. Strikers. I mean, Gordinho, Shaba, and uh, uh, Katsande are your top goal scorers in the league at the club right now. Mm. Where's the firepower at the front? You know. When you do analysis on that, Tommy, uh, you, you pick up that our goals are more team goals and they come from different angles. And I just have to keep it there lest I give away a lot and he's listening next mm. door here. So our team had been scoring more of team goals, even, even goals that were scored during run of play. They come from a lot of interpassing, build up play and all That's that, set even on set pieces. But those set pieces as well are worked on. We work a lot on set pieces. So it feels good. You would love to have maybe a top goal scorer coming from strikers. But if you're sitting on 25 goals, with goals spread across with your team, mm. and everybody else is sitting on 25 and 30 as well, with a man leading by maybe 10 goals, you should be pleased because all that we want is to look at the number of goals scored whether they are team goals or individual goals. But the challenge with individuals is that when they stop scoring, then the team suffers. Does that mean when they don't have that firepower at the very top, a former striker yourself, does that make them toothless? Of course, I, I think every team want to have a, a, a guy up there who scored like and 10, Doro. 15. Yeah, for example, or, but I think, but, but I mean, Set pieces, for example, no, they have scored a lot on set pieces, and that's a big part of football today. So, so I think they are up there. We have a guy who has scored 12, 13 goals. Mm. I don't know exactly, but, but we are down there. But they have a one who has scored one or two, but they are up there. So, I mean, it doesn't matter who scores. But, of course, I think every coach wants to have a guy who can score mm. uh, 10, 15 goals. But you can be up there 
even without. And you mentioned that you saw the game, the last derby, October, <laughs> nil-nil. Yeah. That is something that South Africans also don't necessarily want to see on Saturday, yeah. is nil-nil. You, I'm sure, are under the pressure to not lose a derby. So how uh, do you approach no, it? No, I'm not seeing it that way. I th see this There's the coaches. A... We know coaches going to games saying, as long as I don't lose uh, on no, Monday, nil-nil no. is OK. Uh, 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 it depends, of course, uh, what's going to happen in the game. But I mean, for us, it's the perfect game to change a season where I've been pretty boring for most of our supporters. I mean, if we win this one, then a lot of them have forgotten what has happened earlier. So absolutely, we're going to try to win that one. And I mean, it could not be so much worse than it is right now. We are down there. Of course, it could be. But, but I mean, this is a fantastic possibility to, to change a, a, a season. Steve, what shall you do now? Am I naive now? No, I'm just saying no? you are going to... But how do I translate it? You're going to wake up the team on him. You're going to just lift the team up on his back. No, but I mean, but, but as you said, start with. Um, I mean, I, I don't think that Orlando Pirates ever going to be underdogs in a, in a game, mm. as it my, as I see. But but I mean, this time, Kaiser Chiefs have been really good this season, and we have struggled. But so I mean, this is the this is the chance. There's the punch. Yeah. We born in him. I'm going to have a punch in that. Well, at Kaiser Chiefs, we are a work in progress. And we, are, we accept and appreciate the challenge. We just have to be more ready, uh, even better than yesterday. With regards to how we play, it's a game of small margins, Tommy. Everybody has to control their face with maximum concentration. And that is why sometimes you find that it looks like there's goalless or 1-1, one, one, whatever, whatever draw it is. Because both teams, you bring your A level of concentration. When it's time to defend, when the opposition has the ball, you're very tight. And when you get to the ball, you're trying to hit quick, and they get organized fast enough, so it gets tight. But we're ready for it. We, we want to go in, win it, because our supporters above pride is three points like any other match. OK, so there you go. Gentlemen, can we agree? Hashtag no draw. Hashtag we agree. Uh, yeah, but it could be like 3-3 three, three or something. What? <laughs> there you go. I like it. And there's a handshake to go with it. And 3-3 three, three is what is on uh, the prospect. Thank you very much to the two coaches, Coach Charles Jonathan, as well as uh, Coach Steve Compella. It is coming your way. Make sure you get to the stadium. It surely promises to be a good one, the Soweto Derby. And if you can't be in the stadium, SABC 1, 3 o'clock is where the action will be.